Metropolitan Opera House, New York, 1937. Joseph Hoffman is playing his recital to celebrate the 50th anniversary of his American debut. The genius musician appeared on this stage for the first time at the age of 11, after his success in Europe. Josef Hoffmann did not limit his interest to music. He was also a genius inventor, the author of over 70 patents. One day, Hoffmann, an owner of a Ford T, was observing raindrops on his window and a metronome's work. This way, he came up with the idea of constructing automatic windscreen wipers, which worked similarly to a metronome. He also found his place in the history of motorization, since he patented the pneumatic shock absorbers. Among many of his inventions, another distinguished one was a recorder for musical dynamics he patented in 1927. Sound recording was the domain of another Polish scientist. In 1951, in a domestic laboratory, a 22-year-old Stefan Kodelski constructed the first mobile recorder, Nagra. The next models of Nagra became the worldwide success. Soon, most radio and television stations on Earth would use the Pole's invention. Shortly, Nagra also appeared in outer space, since it became the basic sound recording machine in NASA. The pocket version of the recorder of the Sari Noir line was used by intelligence agencies all over the world. Nagra was also a revolutionary device on the film set. Stefan Kodelski was awarded four Oscars, two Emmy Awards, and the Grierson International Gold Medal, thanks to which he was given a place in the Film Hall of Fame, next to Louis Lumiere, Walt Disney, Ray Dolby, and Leon Gaumont. London, 1971. Olympia Computer Devices Exhibition. Engineer Jacek Karpinski presents the K202 computer. Before that, in 1959, Karpinski constructed ACAT-1, the first transistor analyzer of derivative actions in the world. Thanks to this invention, he was awarded the UNESCO scholarship and underwent studies at Harvard University and at the MIT. After his comeback to the People's Republic of Poland, he and his team constructed the K202. The computer's dimensions were surprising. It was the size of a suitcase and could work in rooms without air conditioning. K202 was an integrated circuit modular system with almost a million operations per second speed, which amazed the Western competition. Sadly, only 30 machines were produced, one of which was placed in the CERN center. Due to the envy of the Communist Party executives of competing plants and the difficulties of the then political system, the modern mini-computer from the Eastern Bloc has never been produced on a big scale. Warsaw, 2013. Professor Andrzej Trzewski, the head of the Multimedia Systems Department at the Gdansk University of Technology and his co-workers, win the Polish Innovation of the Year competition. The invention that won the prize was the CyberEye. It's an integrated computer system to diagnose the state of consciousness and to provide therapy for people in coma. The CyberEye enables the stimulation of their cognitive functions through the activation of the sight, hearing and smell senses. In connection with the speech synthesizer, it enables the patients to communicate with their caretakers. It's just one of the inventions and projects coordinated by Andrzej Czajewski. The math mouse is an invention for paralyzed people who are not able to use the keyboard and the mouse. Another innovation is a smart pen that facilitates learning for children suffering from dyslexia. Missouri, 2012. Martin Yakubovsky and his co-workers present the Compressed Earth Brick Press, which they built from the ground up from recycled sources. 
Yakubovsky, a PhD of nuclear fusion physics, has found the sense of his life on a farm in Missouri. He established the Open Source Ecology Organization. Its aim is to promote a commonly available technology which enables both cheap and ecologic construction of devices sustainable for people, like a tractor or a bread oven. Marcin Yakubovsky has started working on the Global Village Construction Set. It's a modular, low-cost platform whose aim is to produce 50 various machines in a simple way. They can be constructed by hand. Thanks to them, a small, balanced and modern civilization can be constructed. In 2011, Marcin Yakubovsky became a member of the prestigious TED organization, and a year later his invention was put on the Times list of best innovations. These are only a small part of the Polish achievements throughout the years. The very new discoveries and inventions of Polish scientists and inventors are recognized in the world of science and applied in everyday life. We're anticipating the development of the current projects and the future ones. Thank you.